Hello, Mioni here. Today, wagons. We all see them storm through towns and cities on our way, dodging their perilously full loads of trade goods to destinations traded far and wide across the entire world. But what are the differences between them, and how can I make them, you may ask? Various expensive materials are used in wagon crafting, and to make a full guide on how to get every single item would take like a bajillion years. So today I'm going to take a look at some basic differences in weight, size and modifications of each wagon so you get an idea of what to aim for. So then, to get your first wagon, you can craft a very basic thing at any old wagon workshop. Uh, these can be found by clicking on a city on the world map and searching for a wagon workshop through the drop down list on the top right. You'll see here there's wagon workshop and also wagon part workshops. We'll come into that later. Once selected, this option will list all wagon workshops available in that particular city you're looking at. Now there are various levels of workshop and the maximum level of a workshop in that city is ideal identified by the number of arrows next to it. For example, the one here in Heidel is two arrows, signifying then that this one is level two. To craft the highest tiers of wagon, you will actually need to visit Calfian City or Altanova City, uh, respectively. I'll have the list of those on screen now so you can see exactly where they are. So wagons can also be bought at a stable master as well as crafted in every major town and city. There's also the auction house if you wanted to buy slightly more expensive ones that are listed there. Three of them can be bought at the Stable Master, uh, to be accurate, varying in price all the way up to 180k as the maximum, which is still small change when you're at level 50 anyway. So let's look at these three first. The first wagon then is called the Flimsy Wagon. This has 3,600 durability, 148,501 lifespan, 270 weight, with speed, acceleration and its turning and braking all at 100%. Uh, at base. It's fairly light and average, but with its six slots and only 270 long tons of storage, it offers nothing over its elder brother, the Shabby Wagon. The Shabby Wagon then is the second one up. Uh, this has 4,100 durability, 247.501 lifespan. It has a weight of 360 long tons. Its speed and acceleration are up to 110%, and its turning and braking are at 120%. This is actually the fastest base wagon available in the game, mainly because it is not that heavy and there's not really that much of it at all at all to pull around. 360 long tons comes down to a minuscule 8 slots however. Honestly the only reason you would buy this is for the speed deliveries but with such low capacity of weight you'll be hard pressed to actually find a use for this over a larger wagon and deliver more at a slower pace. The third wagon is the Farm Wagon, which has arguably the best statistics from those you can buy at the stable hand, and you'll probably see a fair few of these out there. The first noticeable difference is that it has two horses instead of one, which doubles its horsepower, funnily enough, no pun intended there. It has 5,600 durability, 247,501 lifespan, 630 long tons of weight allocation, with its speed, acceleration, turning and braking all at 100 percent much like the flimsy wagon only with 630 weight and 14 slots to put your lovely trade packages into this costs 180,000 silver from the stable master and honestly is the way to go for a wagon for most people just breaking into the trading industry and i certainly fully recommend it as a starting block and honestly, the next step upwards for you is to save up for what I have been running lately myself. With an average price of about 1.5 million silver on average, you can acquire yourself a merchant wagon. This is a craftable wagon at Altanova and Calfian workshops respectively. The main difference here is noticeably that this wagon I'm looking at, the merchant wagon, and the noble wagon that you might have heard about, its triple more expensive elder brother, all use four horses instead of two. This is going to obviously make levelling four horses at once a thing, as each horse attached to a wagon does in fact level up as you go. So aside from horse breeding, this wagon does actually attract traders due to its 18 slots of cargo space, running in at a wonderful 810 long ton weight capacity. Base speed, acceleration, braking and turning are all still at 100%, and that can be quickly remedied by uh, creating wagon upgrade parts at a wagon part workshop. Again, access via a drop down menu on the world map whilst clicking on a city and searching for it in the top right there. 
Wagon parts can include covers, which increase the stability of a wagon, signs that increase the weight limit magically somehow, wheels that increase the speed or acceleration of a vehicle, etc. It's all a very big in-depth process and can take literally hours to make many of the parts for the wagon itself and a lot of money to actually make them. The best option for your trading needs is to assess what you truly want to spend. Bear in mind that the materials to make the top tier wagons are very close to the cost of actually you know, buying them off of the auction house flat already made. So you have to try and figure out the amount of profit you'd like to make before the lifespan of your vehicle ends. In the long run, it's arguably better to run cheap and cheerful to earn money through ranking up rather than trying to put all of your eggs into one overly shiny basket. Hopefully this basic look at wagons has helped you decide what to get and the benefits of each one that you can access. I'll be making more advanced wagon guides in the future, but this serves to fill a gap that I simply haven't looked at yet. Thank you all for watching, I look forward to seeing your comments, and I'll see you all next time.